Okay, guys. So now I'm going to go ahead and detail the installation of the stock pack on my 3030 here. The first thing I'm going to do is, of course, make sure the rifle's clear. I've already unloaded it, but whenever we're checking a rifle, shotgun, pistol, whatever, when we're clearing a firearm, we always want to do a three-point check. That means we're going to check the bolt face, check the chamber. You notice I'm sticking my finger in there, right? That's because sometimes we have to clear weapons in the dark. We need to be able to visu visually and physically check them. And last, I'm going to be feeding my magazine or checking my magazine or other feeding devices. You know, in this case, it's a tube. This was an AR, of course, it'd be a mag well. And then I'm going to watch right here. I'm watching my bolt go home on an empty chamber. And I'm going to release the hammer. So I've already removed my Walmart special butt cuff there. The elastic's getting wore out. It's not really holding the shells that good. Plus, it doesn't really do what I want it to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over here and just kind of test fit everything, see how I want it to fit. Now, one thing to keep in mind is these do come with spacer material so you can build up your cheek weld if you need to. Now, I know... I'm shooting this rifle that I don't need any of that. All right. So I don't want to put any of that material in because basically I like exactly how my face fits on the stock as it is. So I'm going to leave all this out on this gun. All right. So we can start getting an idea. It's just going to take some, uh, you know, trial and error to kind of get everything lined up. Now back here, I want this strap to be more in the center. So I'm just going to drop it down an inch or so. Try something like that. And something like that. Let's see what that looks like. You might notice the stock pack is a little further forward. I don't want it this far forward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I like the height of this, but I'm going to move them in so it pulls this back because I want it more like that. So I'm just going to scoot these in. I use my thumb to kind of mark where I want it to end up. Just do something like that. You're just going to keep playing around with these until you get it where you want it. You know, if you're doing this on a bolt action, you definitely want to watch the spacing right here. Make sure your bolt can clear. So overall, I think that's pretty good, just like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take our straps here, and there's two long ones and a short one. And on the stock pack, there's these metal rings. There's three of them. And the two long ones, Go on the, the two long ones go on the wider portion back here, and of course your short one's going to go on the narrower portion. And I'm just going to take, feed that through. And you got to kind of think about this: the loop material. These straps. You got to think about this: these straps have a section of loop and a section of hook. And they have this little folding tail. All right, this is going to go through your loop. And what you got to do is make sure that the hook portion is going to be against your stock. And that's what protects your stock from getting, you know, worn. You wouldn't want this hook there. Plus, I'll just get this one started. Get in there. Nice and tight. Excuse me. As you fold this around the stock, you're gonna be, this whole bottom is lined with loop material. You're gonna want that hook to land in there like that. And grab wherever it can. Now they have these little, some webbing here that I believe you're supposed to feed this through. And that just keeps it from sliding around and shifting any further. There. 
So I did not choose to try and fit the Velcro, Velcro strap through that webbing. I've just ran it underneath like so. You may have to just install these and keep playing around with them until you get everything where you want it. Because they are customizable to different rifles, and of course that means you're going to have to adjust it to get it to fit yours perfect. Okay guys, real quick, I did uh, take a little time, got this stock pack put on really good now I feel like. What I ended up doing is these straps that feed underneath, um, they do come fairly long. You could definitely fit this on more of a, like a target style stock where it comes out flat like a you know McMillan A4 or something like that. And so what I ended up doing was just trimming off these straps because I had so much, it was trying to curl around the back, kind of creating a pain for getting it tight. And I just kind of trimmed a little off each one and then just worked it until I got it down tight. I really like how that's fitting. Um, you know, and so one reason I think this is great for a lever gun is, of course, you know, just look at the amount of ammunition that we can carry on this thing. I can have nine rounds on the outside. And if I had another one of these placards, I could carry another nine rounds on the inside, plus, you know, six rounds in the rifle itself. So that's, that is a considerable amount of ammunition. And I think with the extra nine rounds in here, there would still be enough room for a boar snake or whatever other uh, little stuff you might want to put in there, little maintenance gear. One last thing I'd like to just kind of detail in case it helps people out. Um, the sling that I use on this rifle um, is nothing fancy. It's the opposite of fancy, in fact. So I'm using two Talon um, quick release. They're not really swivels. They're solid steel. They're pretty heavy duty. That's what, how I attach the sling, just using the standard studs that are in the stock. But I'm using a GI web sling. And the reason I like these is they're really cheap and easy to find. It's actually really versatile. And I've got it set up in kind of a different configuration. So basically what I've done, normally the sling would be looped through this tri-glide and attached in a much different fashion. And so the sling itself just has the tab end, the tri-glide end, and then the buckle. And so all I do is I take the buckle off open the sling all the way up, slide the first sling, uh, sling swivel all the way down, kind of feed it, you got to kind of feed the sling through a little bit, it's a little snug. And that tri-glide just kind of bottoms out just like a toggle on the bottom of that sling. And then the next thing I do is I take the tab end, run it through the other loop. I'm sorry, I got to put my buckle on first. Put it through the buckle, then do that and this just feeds back through this is something that you have to play with to get it sized right for where you want it then I just hook these back up to the rifle lock them down I don't put any twist or anything in it. And what that gives me is a sling that carries very well. There we go. You know, cotton web slings, they just, I don't know, they grip your shoulder nicely, especially on a rifle like this. And when you get them adjusted right, you know, you can use a hasty sling. This one needs to be just tightened up just a hair for that which is easy to do. Just pull a little bit of slack through. Close my buckle again. There we go. And so you can sling up quickly and easily just using a hasty sling. But it's also quick and easy to adjust in the field. You know, for some reason, if I need to make the sling looser or tighter, maybe I want to put it, you know, 
over my head. I can tighten this swing up a little bit if I need to, or like I said, loosen it up a little bit as well. So, anyways, I think that's enough on the sling. Try it out. Yep. Yep, I like that a lot. You know, once you get used to this, you're going to want it on every one of your rifles. You know, they're, they're very well made. I know, I'm sure there's some knockoff stuff on Amazon, but to me, this is a well-made product that's going to last as long as the rifle. And once I put the work into getting it mounted, it, it can stay together as a system. And that's what I really like. Also, one thing I like, um, like I said, this is their modular stock pack. And Triad Tactical makes a number of different hook-backed accessories that'll stick on there. Of course, they'll stick on any other hook material or loop material as well. And I've actually had this for quite a while. And the way I would carry this extra ammo with me is inside of my Hill People kit bag. It is also lined with loop material. And so I could carry spare ammunition inside there just like that, tucked out of the way, out of the weather, but still accessible, you know, should I need to reload quickly. All right, everybody. Well, I think that pretty well covers how to install the stock pack. Like I said, got a little bit of work to do on this one, but I'm sure everybody gets the idea. Also, I want to mention that I've got two field craft classes scheduled for this year, one in May and one in June. The weather's usually really nice. It'll be a great time to get out and learn all the essential field skills like rifle marksmanship, land navigation, water collection, uh, shelter construction, and others. Uh, be sure to check it out. Check out the class calendar over on my blog. It's a great time, and we have a lot of fun. But we also learn a lot too. So anyways, thanks for watching.